Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rack and Robbins here coming to you live for another network marketing direct selling tip of the day. Before we get started, let's go ahead and get acquainted. If you don't mind, shout out below who you are and where you're tuning in from. And if it is your first time watching, put a number one in the comments so I can warmly welcome you. And don't forget, as always, to share this on the team pages or in an inbox with a friend for a chance for a shout. Share for a shout. Because as always, as you know, the more who know on your team, the greater that you can grow. All right, as you introduce yourself, let me quickly introduce myself. Who am I? I am Sarah Robbins. I am a former kindergarten teacher turned one of network marketing's very top global leaders. Uh, we have a billion dollar a year sales team, over 300,000 distributors on our team, and I share how I did it all in my best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. You can find on Amazon, we've got hard copy, Kindle, and audio read by me, so make your car un rolling university, but you can also get bulk discounts on my website, sarahrobbins.com, because these make really great gifts for rock stars on your team who are making promotions or newbies as well. Consider it their getting started guide. What I love is inside, you can open it up and sign it from you and just write a little note, you rock or future rock star. Congrats on rocking your business. You get the drift. It's a really awesome book. In fact, I just want to take a moment as we're waiting for pile in, people to pile in to just thank you. Hopefully you saw on my Instagram story, we've got a lot of followers over on Instagram. I have been shouting you out and featuring you in my stories. For those of you who have been posting it, and tagging me um, either in your Instagram stories I've been reposting or on your picture posts. I've been sharing those to my story and I just wanna say thank you and I hope this book helps you to rock your network marketing business. Um, I am also the founder and creator of the Network Marketing University That Works. So if you're wanting an exact blueprint for how we built a team of over 300,000 strong and service millions of customers monthly and do over a billion dollars in sales in a year, then make sure you check out our system. It's called, it's called um, the Rockstar Recruiting School University, but you can find it at rockstarrecruitingschool.com. Or you can also go to my website, sarahrobbins.com, and on the store, when you click up top, you can learn more. If anybody's got the link, post it below, but I'll be sure to post it after this video if you're having a hard time finding it too. Just a reminder, um, my web guy actually forgot to change over the discount. So it's still featuring it now, so you better catch it before I reach him. We're giving 100 bucks off and over $800 of bonuses. It was actually supposed to end a few days ago, but he's been out and we've been missing each other. So I promise you this, it's going away soon. If you want to scoop it up and get the 100 bucks off and the $800 in bonuses, check it out right now, rockstarrecruitingschool.com. Okay, so today I'm excited to share with you a really exciting story and a really, really phenomenal training, and it happens to be super timely too, about a woman who earned six figures her first year in network marketing, and a little bit about her secret sauce, because people ask me about her story all the time. Now let me first say, um, results not typical, right? Always consult your company's income disclosure statement to see what the averages are, but what I love is when somebody does it, it shows you it can be done again, right? And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her secret sauce. So, I'm actually sharing this story today because this individual is one of my power partners, somebody I brought into the business, or I should say my husband Phil brought into the business, so I'll tell you the story and recap it if you don't know. Um, but today happens to be her anniversary in our business, and um, so she's celebrating the years that she's been with us and really how network marketing, direct sales, has made a difference not only in her life, but it's allowed her to make a difference in the lives of so many other people too. Um, um, in fact, her name is Stacy Thayer, and she's an awesome business partner and friend. And the coolest thing about her story, I mean, you think about how network marketing changed your life, and I'm going to tell you how she did it in a moment. So no, regardless of what company you're in, you're going to want to tune in and hear this. 
But what I love is when she found network marketing, you know, she was doing so much 60 hour a week job. I think she said something like a four hour train commute. She had two young children. Her husband was deployed. So essentially it was like a single mom. And she was really looking for a way that the business could change her life. She had an hour a day to do the business, one hour when she started. And she warned me, she told me I can only do this over my kid's bedtime. By the way, I do my business now during my son's nap time. I don't have a nanny or any help right now. And so that's the beauty of the business. You design a professional life that fits around the rest of your life, right? Um, but what she did in an hour was so powerful, earning her way to a six-figure residual income, and um, now it's grown, obviously, ever since, within her first year in an hour a day. And we're going to talk about sh how she did it. It was hard work, okay? And, and, and I will say it was consistent activity really over time. The process itself, like what she did, is simple, but it's hard work, right? Because you face rejection, the no's, and you're doing the simple system, the simple process over and over again. But if you did not hear me share her story um, last week um, on the podcast or on our Facebook Live or whatever method you're watching this on, um, I, you'll see the video and you should watch it. It's called, What Could One Touch of God's Favor? do for your business. And I tell the story of the season in my life where I was experiencing a lot of loss. I had leaders who left, people who turned, and um, I'm just telling you what, I didn't want really much to do with my business at the time, much less to go on an awards trip that, that I had won at Bora Bora where I was going to face some of these people. Well, long story short, my sister encouraged me to go and she said, you know, I believe God's got something for you there. And specifically, she spoke into my life. She said, even a leader who would be a friend and who would do things differently but have great success. And so I went just with hopeful expectation. And my prayer has always been, by the way, since the beginning when I started my business, God, send me the leaders that are supposed to be blessed by this. Do you know all of my top leaders? 12 of them were actually people who hit the very top ranks in our pay plan. And most people in the industry, by the way, were very successful of two or three of the people who hit the very top ranks. 12. All of them were people that... I did not know before the business, with the exception of my sister, but you know her story. She joined me 10 years later, and they're actually all people who came to me, including my sister, okay? So it's powerful. So I've always prayed that prayer. Send me the leaders that are supposed to be blessed by this. So I really started praying for that trip. And long story short, if you listen to that um, podcast or if you listen to that video last week, I talked about how God restored and he redeemed. I stood on that Isaiah 61, 7 promise that God would restore double what was lost, even my joy. And it was so cool. On that trip, my husband was being silly in the pool and he was talking about the SS Minnow and joking around with his buddies. She was watching. Um, she was in the Navy. So was her husband. And they kind of got a kick out of him. They thought he was hilarious. Um, they end up meeting him in the pool. We end up getting introduced. Long story short, she's still wondering what the heck we do because I never told her. So it's like this burning thing. Like, what did they do? She goes up and researches me on Facebook, says, I want to join your team. And in one year, she changed her life completely. But also, I look at the replenishment of what was lost for me. You see, God can restore anything that's lost. Lost time, he's a redeemer of time, relationships, finances, etc. You see, some of you guys are mourning. You're literally mourning. You're in a season of mourning. You're in a season of grieving of the one who said no or the one who quit or the volume that got away. What could one touch of God's favor do for your business? I look at this story and I'm like, Phil's odds are pretty darn cool. I'm like, never recruit one other person because technically that's his business partner, right? One out of one, pretty powerful. And he recruits, she also happened to be a former Mrs. Hawaii, not too shabby, Phil, but also now one of the top three leaders, top three legs in organizations in our organization and one of the top leaders company-wide. And you guys want to know the best part? She's one of my best friends. That's how God restores that. That's how he redeemed. So instead of looking at all the things that didn't happen, the people who said no, the people who left, the people who quit, get off that story, right? In order to literally move on, like some of you are in a season of grieving, in order to love again, you got to let go and you got to learn to trust and to trust the process too. So I love that story. So it's her anniversary today. And um, really the, the story of how we all connected, it's changed her life, it's changed our two, ours too. But oftentimes when people hear her story, they ask me this question. They say, great, Sarah, so what was her secret sauce? 
Again, she starts the business, says, I got a 60 hour a week job. I got two young kiddos. My husband's deployed. They moved several times in the beginning of starting their business. And she literally said, I've got one hour a day. You want to know what's worse? You know what else she told me? And by the way, I hope she's watching. Love you, Stace. She said, I'm not going to post on social media. Now, by the way, she posts on social media a ton now. She's learned. Okay. <laughs> and so does her team. But in the beginning, she's like, I don't think I can do a launch party because I've moved so many times and my people are all, all over the place. She's like, I don't even know how I'm going to post on social media, but she said, I've got an hour a day, nine to 10 at night. What do I do? You want to know what I told her to do? And do you want to know what she did that helped her to achieve her own individual results, her own unique story? Here's what we did. We excited, we invited and then we helped people get off to a strong start. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you the details. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. But what we did was we excited, we invited, and we helped others get off to a strong start. By the way, I hope you guys are clicking the share button right now because your team needs to hear this, okay? We overcomplicate the business, and that's why your team's not growing. If it's not growing, and no, everybody's solid, nobody's doing anything, you are making it way too hard. You've gotta keep this so simple so that duplication happens, that exponential growth. That's how you get the time and financial freedom, right? The ability to earn that as well. So when she first started her business, she started inviting people, telling people what she was up to, sharing her why, why she joined the business, and her what, what she was planning on it doing. And then of course the who, who it is we're looking for, and um, basically giving them an invitation to learn more. Inviting them to a three-way call with me. Now, three-way calls, were the key to her success. If you were to ask Stacy, if I were to interview her right now, and I think I should do that, what do you guys think? Should I interview her? I wanna hear from you guys. If so, then maybe we should set up a little interview. Um, but basically, when people ask her, what was the key to your success, your strong start, your fast start, she always says it was three-way calls. So every hour from nine to 10 at night, we did three-way calls. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna be funny for a moment, but bear with me. Don't call them three-way calls to people not in the business because that just sounds super weird, all right? And don't say it's with your sponsor either because that sounds even weirder, okay? So she would say something like, you know, I'd love to invite you on a chat with my business partner or with my friend Sarah, and we do these calls. So if you're not doing three-way calls, guys, or three-way meetings, let me just say nowadays, if you can have yourself as the sponsor, your new consultant, and their guest, the three of you, on the phone, and by the way, if you wanna know exactly how to do three-way calls, um, on sarahrobbins.com on my store, you can pick up Power Presenting. It is a two-hour master class all on um, how to share this with other people, including through three-way calls. It's also included in my university, the Rockstar Recruiting School, okay? So you can find all of that there. But basically, nowadays with technology, you can have the three of you meet on Zoom, um, you can do Skype, whatever the case may be. And what I love is you guys can do a virtual coffee and have a conversation and, you know, send them a little e-card, like a little Starbucks e-card to thank them for their time. You're a star. Here's some bucks. Thanks for keeping my business brewing. You guys meet over coffee and it's a group of great friends and it really takes the pressure off during that prospecting process and it makes it real and it makes it human. And that's what I totally love. Or it's at night, you guys come together with a glass of wine your results are gonna be even better, okay? Not because of the wine, but because it makes it more personable, right? Okay, so on that call, what I love, all she simply did was, did was make an introduction. Like, don't overcomplicate this, guys. She would say, Sarah, meet my friend so-and-so. So-and-so, meet my business partner, Sarah. Now, I coached her and I said, Stacy, don't make this all about me. Don't say, well, Sarah's the top earner in our company and she's done this Y, this, you know, X, Y, Z, and the other. Because then it feels like a sales call. I just said, tell them I'm your business partner or your friend. I'm your friend, Sarah. But when you introduce the guests, you tell me great things about them. So-and-so is an amazing realtor. She's so well-respected in the community. I thought of her immediately because of blah, 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 blah. So-and-so meets Sarah. And then I say to her business partner, so tell me what intrigues you about our opportunity. And I listen and I take notes. See, some of you are making a big mistake and you're following these crazy scripts and you sound like a robot and you sound like selling people. And if you're wondering why you're not closing anybody, I've got one of the highest rates of closing, not only in my company, but industry-wide. 
you're making it too hard. Don't come with a script. Ask what they want to know. So I'll say, you know, what intrigued you about the opportunity? And they share. And I'm taking notes. And then I reconnect after they talk. I shut my mouth and I listen. Imagine that. And I'll say, me too. Let me tell you a little bit about, you know, what intrigued me about my company. And that's where I share my story. If you don't know how to tell your story, get the five-point outline in my book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. It's in the university too, okay? And basically, I'm telling my story, my why, my what, what the business is doing for me, and then our who, who it is we're looking for. And I'll ask, enough about me. Tell me, back to you, what questions do you have and what do you want to learn more about? If it's our product, she tells me. If it's our business, she tells me. And I answer questions, I handle objections, and I confidently conquer the close. I'll say, you know, what Stacy's looking for is essentially a few things. People to try the product and get X, Y, and Z results, and people to join our fun and fast-growing team. And by the way, those people get the products at the very best discount, and we have the ability to help you to earn your products back for free or some extra money, as you simply tell them, tell about it to other people. Do you happen to have a personal interest? And if they do, we talk. Imagine that. And if they don't, I ask who. Who do you know the business and the products would be great for? And guys, after that, I send them information. I give them homework. Write down all of your questions. And if you're interested in starting with us, let's set a follow-up call within the next 24 to 48 hours. At that time, I'm going to answer your questions, and I handle their objections. And I tell them to leave some time for the enrollment. I believe effective enrollment, effective enrollment. I talk about this in my book. Effective enrollment is so powerful. Setting that enrollment appointment. Never send somebody to your website. And then we got people off to a strong start. And we had simple systems in place. And do you know, I'd love to brag on Stacy today. On her anniversary, every single one of the people on her front line during that first year promoted and qualified and maintained their qualifications 100%. I literally told her, I was like, I haven't even seen an attainment ratio recruiting to attainment like you have. Recruiting like a rock star because of three-way calls. So if you're not doing them, you need to do them. You need to learn how. You need to learn how, okay? But basically, her recruiting and attainment was so incredible and that's the power of three-way calls because guess what happened then after that during that same hour? We do her calls with her prospects, but then she would have her team do those three-way calls as well. And that's how she built to incredible success in just one hour a day in her business. The business is all about duplication. It's exciting people, inviting them to learn more, and then basically getting them to a call or to an event, whether live or virtual. But then you've got to learn how to conquer the close, okay? Now, guys, if you need help, more help in any one of those areas as it relates to prospecting, presenting, closing, how do we effectively enroll people and get them off to a great start? Remember, my university is accidentally on sale right now because I can't get a hold of my web guy. So you can go to rockstarrecruitingschool.com or sarahrobbins.com on the store and pick it up and you'll get the 100 bucks off that you're not supposed to get, but you can, <laughs> as well as the $800 in bonuses, but scoop it up before I reach them, okay? I guess it's a happy mistake for you guys today. But I would love to hear your takeaways. I would love to hear your questions too. Be sure to post them below and I hope today's training encouraged you in several ways. A, get your hopes up, right? Let go of grief. What could one touch of God's favor do for your business? And B, keep success simple, right? Even if you've got just an hour a day, excite people, invite them to learn more, and get them off to a strong start. All right, guys, what did you learn? Share it below. And don't forget to share this on a team page to encourage somebody or in the inbox with a friend. All right, guys. And by the way, somebody said, how do you do this with no upline? Find a sideline, sister or brother, to do the calls with you. We do them all the time within our organization. They don't have to be in your upline. Agree to do them for each other. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Goodbye for now. And rock on, rock stars. And remember, all the training you need on three-way calls, you can get in our university because that will go through the entire process with you. All right. Talk to you soon.